Hi everyone, welcome back. This is week five of my training. At this point, I'm four weeks out. And uh, just to let you guys know ahead of time, it's gonna be a very quick video just because I um, have a lot going on this week. Uh, this is the week of USAPL Collegiate Nationals for um, all the collegiate lifters out there. So for the second half of the week, I'm gonna be heading up to College Station and helping out some of the UT lifters. Um, so I'm very excited uh, to see how they do this week and I'm uh, really wishing them the best of luck. So for day one of my training, I did uh, my top sets on squat at 500 pounds, and then I did some drop sets at 455 pounds. And then um, I moved on the bench. My top sets here were 305 pounds. Um, I moved pretty well because there was no elbow pain today for the most part. And uh, that basically wraps up day one of my training. And then for day two of training this week, I um, worked up some top sets at 510 pounds on deadlift. As you can see, pretty smooth. Everything is looking pretty good right now. So another set at 510 pounds. Um, and this is Wednesday at this point. So I took a day off and then got back in the gym Wednesday. And then um, after doing my normal deadlifts, I moved on to some block pulls. And um, my heaviest sets here are 595 pounds for singles. So, some of y'all may not know this, but this is actually the heaviest I've ever pulled on deadlift from the ground for, off of blocks, anything. And, um, and I was pretty satisfied with how well that moved, because typically I have a harder time with block pulls than I do from, with the weight on the ground itself. So, that, that, was, that was basically a big confidence booster, being able to pull 595 off of a block. Um, and then, uh, moving on the bench, bench 345 pounds here for... Um, I think for singles, I believe. Yeah. So not bad there. I did like four sets of one at the same weight, 345 pounds. Boom. Very nice, very nice. And then after the bench, moved on to two board press. So I was only supposed to work up to like 370 pounds, but I did a set at 370 before this. I did two sets, I think. And I moved really well. Everything felt easy. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to bump it up to 375. And it went well. Moving on to day three. Um, so I actually did day three on Thursday morning because I was, I was about to head off to College Station in the afternoon. So um, I, know, I know I'm not going to have much time to train while, while I'm in College Station. So I decided to go ahead and do my day three instead of Friday. Did it on Thursday. Um, so yeah, so that was squat. Um, that was like 430 pounds. And then bench at 305 pounds for doubles. So everything's moving pretty well despite only, you know, having like 12 hours to rest before getting back in the gym. And then uh, after bench, had some front squats here at 320 pounds for, for doubles. So front squats went well. Basically, I'm basically doing front squats to really make sure I'm strengthening my quads because I, I have strained my quads multiple times in the past. So I'm really trying to make sure my quad strength is there and um, keep my quads healthy. Um, so it does went well. And then after front squats, moved on to overhead press. Top set here was 175 pounds for four. Not bad for overhead press, being that I rarely train overhead press. That's one thing I really want to improve. <clears throat> and then here is day four of my training for the week. So I get to go, I got to go to um, um, Brazos Valley Barbell in College Station. This is my first time ever training in this gym. Um, and it's a beautiful gym in my opinion. Um, everything is pretty organized. Kilo plates everywhere. Everything was nice and neat. It was it was really a beautiful gym. Um, but, but at this point in my training, my body was pretty beat. So on those block pulls, I was actually supposed to work up to 540 pounds. But at 510, I had to call it quits because my hips were shot. And then wrapped up my my um, two board press here at 335 pounds. And at that point, I was supposed to move on and do some deficit deadlifts, but I just called it quits after that because my hips are pretty sharp, my legs are pretty fatigued, and my body was just hurting because I didn't, I didn't really give my body time to recover. I was basically, I worked out three days straight, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So, you know, at that point, my body was, body was really talking to me, telling me to, you know, pump the brakes a little bit. And whenever that happens, it's just best to listen to your body um, stop what you're doing, um, you know, because at the end of the day, like, your health is number one priority. All right, hold on. Okay. Hey, guys. 
y'all gotta scoot back for real. That way everybody else can see too. If y'all don't scoot back, nobody can see. And the people that are recording for their memory. So y'all scoot back, please. That's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just want to say congrats to all the UT lifters that did well at Collegiate Nationals. You guys really represented yourself well. Um, you know, you held it down for a long form powerlifting. And I also want to say a big congrats to my to my um, good friend and old roommate Jeremiah Regoza and his beautiful bride Janet. I hope you, uh, you know I wish you guys um, love and happiness and a happy marriage. And um, that's all, guys. I'll see you next week. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Take it easy.